So here we have the mini three-door hatchback on a 68 plate. I'm going to start off by hopping inside the car and running through some controls first of all. Just briefly before we climb inside the car, I think it's well worth seeing the boot space as well. Uh, as you can see, we've got reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space given the fact that it's a mini. Uh, we've got a 60-40 split folding rear seat so that you can increase this space further and you can increase it even further again by folding up this tray section, uh, which you can also remove should you wish to. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, we have the speedometer in the middle, and the fuel gauge over on the right-hand side. Also in the middle, you can see the total miles of the car. They are 23,739. You can change information displayed above that by pressing a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information, or the digital readout for the speedometer that you see being displayed now. You can also see in there, it will show you what gear the car is currently in. We're in neutral at the moment. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side, we have cruise control and speed limiter, and over on the right hand side, stereo and phone controls for the car. Now you can't use the phone controls until you pair the phone up, and that is done over in the center just here, uh, underneath that phone icon, and then manage mobile devices, and then you connect a new device from there. As you can see, it is a touch screen. You can use it as a touch screen, of course, or you can do what I'm doing at the minute, and use this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. So using that dial, we can rotate it to uh, our media radio option, push the dial down to enter that menu. You can see we've got DAB, FM radio, Bluetooth audio, USB input as well. You can also pair your phone from this menu should you wish to. We can go back to uh, the beginning again where you'll see we've got satellite navigation again. I'm doing all of this using the dial and the buttons surrounding the dial. We've done a video showing how the sat nav works you can find that on our website and YouTube channel. Uh, we've got our main volume for the stereo just here. Working our way down, we then have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase, decrease the fan speed. You can change the direction that the air is being distributed. When you're happy with those settings, that button turns your air conditioning on and it's on, of course, when that light shows. Same button to turn it off again or hit auto. The car will now maintain the temperatures that you've asked for by taking control of the fan speed and direction of the air. Press auto again, and you'll go back to whatever setting you had it on previously. Down here, we've also got a heated driver seat. We have three different heat settings, and the same over there for the passenger side. Uh, we can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is turned off when that light shows. We can start and stop the engine from here. Our traction control, we can turn on and off from here. Um, we can change the driving setup of the car. So you're able to put it into sport, which is on at the moment, mid, which is your everyday driving, and green as well. Underneath that section, we have a 12 volt charging socket, USB input, and then our six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.